Good morning, Bremen High School. I'm Jada Smith. And I'm Mackenzie Wheeler. Today is Friday, May 12th, 2023. The guitar concert took place at the Fine Arts Center this past Monday to showcase all of the talents of this semester. Here's Maddie Hardis with how the class prepared for the concert and how they think it went. How did you guys prepare for the guitar concert? Okay. Well, Ms. Price had us practice like every day for at like almost the whole class, right? She had us run through the songs like twice or about three times so we just like get it right and get it perfect. And um that's like how pretty much how we just went ahead and just practiced it. What songs did you perform? Um I performed Pretty Woman on the keyboards and a thousand years on keyboards with five other people. And um I think I really enjoyed it. It was like a really cool experience to be on stage again. And I I think I would I'll do it again. So you think it went well? I do think it went well. I liked it. Okay. How do you guys prepare for the guitar concert? Uh so we prepare for the guitar concert with uh Miss Price uh running the songs that we play as a group over and over. And then when it gets closer to time to prepare for the actual uh concert when it's like a couple of days until we move from the main building into the Fine Arts Center and we practice up there so we know what it's like to actually uh perform. Okay, so what songs did you perform? Um, I performed uh, Out in the Lobby. I performed a song called Oklahoma Smoke Show by Zach Bryan. And I also performed uh, a song by myself, which was uh, one that I wrote called Rain. Um, how do you think the concert went? Um, I think it went pretty well, actually. I think we had a pretty good concert yeah. overall. Well, well that's, that's really good. What's up, Poppy? Finals are fast approaching, and the Bremen Recap wants to remind you how to prepare for them. Here's Clover Jacobs with more information on how you can effectively study to ace those tests. Finals week is coming up soon. Everyone is scrambling to study and prepare. Some ways one can study are using note cards, playing study games, renewing classwork, and making sure to turn in late work to help cushion your grades. The schedules for finals are May 25th for first and second block, and May 26th for third and fourth block. Um, well, first off, look at the stuff that the teachers have given you over the course of the semester. Don't just throw it away when a teacher gives it back to you. Those, they give those papers back to you so you can study them and so you can review them as you uh, see fit. Um, go back to Google Classroom. There's you know, digital stuff the teachers have posted. Obviously, those are resources for you as well. Um, and, you know, if there's something like a particular thing that the teacher has covered that you don't necessarily feel like they've covered, um, enough in class, you can always go see them afterward and be like, hey, can I have um, extra help with this, that, or the other thing? Um, so, you know, use your teachers and use the resources your teachers um, give you. Um, I mean, they can go on YouTube. YouTube nowadays has all sorts of, like, really helpful kind of, like, uh, I don't want to call it teach yourself kind of things, but, you know, just help you, you know, understand a concept or things like that. Now, you know, depending on the subject, that might not work. Like, you know, you know, some, some things might be a little more hard to find, but um, that's helped me in the past. Um, and then just, you know, flashcards, quizlets, things like that. Those are kind of helpful tools as well. Um, I'm a big fan of this thing called sprints, which is basically you give yourself something that you have to do, and then you just set a timer for whether that be 30 minutes or an hour, whatever, 90 minutes. Um, you give yourself that amount of time of uninterrupted focus, and so you just sprint through it, and then when the timer goes off, you go take a break, um, chill out, whatever you want to do after that, but at least you have that time, whether it's 30 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour of uninterrupted focus, and so that's been really helpful. Mm -hmm. Well, we just live in a time where there's distractions around every corner, and so it's super easy to get distracted, and the focus is the thing that you... Uh, Oftentimes, you just don't have the focus, or the focus is kind of split between 12 other things. So um, uninterrupted focus and concentration helps you retain that information a whole lot more than if you were just kind of, you know, juggling that between studying TikTok or YouTube or Netflix or whatever it is else that you're doing at the same time. Um, it helps that stuff kind of soak into the brain a little bit more than just, you know, bouncing off, which a lot of times is what happens. So. Okay. Thank you. Freeman's AP statistics class has already taken their AP test. Here's Isaac Siegel with how the class prepared and how they think they did on the test. AP statistics is a class that teaches students to collect, analyze, and interpret data. 
You'll learn how to use statistics to solve real world problems. In this class, you'll learn new things and make new friendships. By the end of this class, you'll be able to, to apply everything you've learned to different fields such as business, medicine, and engineering. Sup, I'm Izzy Armis. <laughs> Hi, I'm Macy Bruin. I'm Aubrey Shoemaker. I'm Trent. I took this class because Miss Armis helped me plan out like my high school years, like what classes I was going to take, and yeah. She uh, do you feel confident about how you did on the test? I feel very confident because Ms. Hightower prepared us very well and we had a bunch of ways to study for the exam. Macy, uh, what do you think you made? I hope I made like a four, but I don't know, probably like a three maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, Izzy, how did you prepare? I prepared for the test by studying and doing practice questions and practice free responses and making sure to always do my book work on time and always, you know, doing my homework and paying attention in class. <laughs> so what would you say to someone who's interested in taking this class? Um, I would definitely tell them to keep in mind how much free time they have and how much time they can devote to doing their homework. And if they don't have time for that, then don't take it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Miss Hightower and I teach AP Statistics. AP Stats is a class that you can take after Algebra 2. And as long as you've had A's all the way up through math up until now, um, up through Algebra 2, then you are likely a candidate for AP Statistics. Now, it is an advanced placement course, so there is more rigor. It is very fast paced and there is a lot of depth of knowledge. So you'll have to be prepared for that. A lot of students come in and they have never been really challenged in their lives. And they come in here and they're like, oh my goodness, I am challenged now. So uh, be prepared for that challenge and be ready to uh, work very hard. But AP stats, you learn about one variable analysis, two variable analysis, and you learn um, all about different ways that statistics can be used in the real world. So it's an awesome class and I encourage everybody to consider it. The Writers Guild of America is officially on strike, meaning that some of your favorite movies and TV shows will be affected. Here's Matthew Bianchi with more details on what has happened in Hollywood. 97.85% of the Writers Guild of America voted to strike because they aren't getting paid for their work on streaming services, they are also scared of losing their jobs because of AI can do their jobs faster and more efficiently without cost. In movies and shows, the writer's room for Unstable, Big Mouth, and Cobra Kai, and the Yellow Jackets have been closed. The community movies such as Peacock is reported to have been delayed. Streaming services such as HBO Max, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Netflix tend to bank more shows than network TV does, so it, takes, so it would take longer for them to feel the real effect. The Writers Guild is being on strike, which means your favorite TV shows and movies are being delayed or possibly canceled. What are your thoughts on this predicament? I mean, I think that the Writers Guild has a reason to be on strike. I mean, they are scared for their jobs. They're scared that AI is going to replace them. Um, so I'm very sad about the fact that some of the shows are probably going to get canceled. Um, because there are no writers, but I do believe in what they are fighting for. You think the streaming services should pay them for their work? I do believe that, um, because residuals is how they make all their money. I mean, writers in Hollywood are not paid that much, contrary to some beliefs. And do you think it's okay for them to be on strike? Do you think it's the right thing for them to do? I mean, I wish it hadn't have come to this. I wish they could have reached a compromise with the studios and the APM. However, if they believe in it, they should fight for it. And if they believe that they need to get paid for what they are doing, then they need to get paid. And that's what they're going to do. And what are your thoughts on the AI taking their jobs? I mean, AI is scary intelligent. However, I don't believe that it can be very creative as opposed to what normal writers rooms with 10 to 20 minds versus just one generic AI. Moving on to extracurriculars. The track team will continue to compete at the state meet at Hughes Mill Stadium. On Saturday, the track state meet will conclude and the Miss Blue Devil and Miss Blue and White pageant will take place at the Fine Arts Center at 6 p.m. On Monday, the chorus concert will be happening at the Fine Arts Center at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, the literary showcase will be happening at 6 p.m. in the Fine Arts Center. 
On Thursday, the band will host their Summer Beach Blast concert at 6.30 at the Fine Arts Center. Well, that's all from us today. I'm Jada Smith. And I'm Mackenzie Wheeler. We hope everyone has a fun and safe weekend.